What's up, Nine Round Now Nation, and welcome to your first Nine Round Workout. I am so pumped for you guys to be with us today. My name is Drew, the Captain Softker. We have Kicking Kens. We also have KOKT. Now, if you're going to be more advanced today, you're going to be watching Kicking Kens. She's going to be using a real jump rope. She's going to be knocking out some more advanced movements. But if it's your first ever experience, check out KOKT over here. She's going to be doing some modifications along the way, and you'll be able to knock out a killer workout with either person as your main person to look at. Now, round one, we're going to be knocking out some killer jump rope drills. Round two, we're going to get into a little bit more functional training. Round three, that's where the kickboxing starts. And just like every nine round workout, we're going to finish with a little core work in the last round of the day. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started in three, two, one. First round, here we go. We're gonna start with 10, basic bounce. So if you have a jump rope, don't have a jump rope or an air rope like KOKT, you can just hit started with that basic bounce, both feet coming off the ground at the same time. After 10 basic bounce, we move into the step bounce. You're gonna go alternating knee drive just like this, but not a full high knee. And last but not least, we're gonna bring in the high knee. So we really bring in the intensity for that last set of 10. Once you hit that 10, we're back. 10 basic bounce. 10 step bounce, and then drive those knees for 10 high knees. Working 10, 10, and 10 for the entire first round. Let's get warmed up. So here we go, check out King Ken's right here. I want you guys to focus on your form when you're working that jump rope. Those elbows are staying in nice and tight, two inch circle with the hands, and then she's barely coming off the ground. So we check out KOKT over here. KO, give me a basic bounce real quick. There you go, so she's working that basic bounce. Both feet are coming off the ground at the same time. And she's got that same form, just like you saw with Mackenzie over there. And remember, round one, it's all about getting warmed up, getting your mind right, turning off everything else you have going on, and focusing on the here and now, which is your killer nine round now workout. So let's keep it going, 10, 10, and 10. We got about a minute and a half left, you got this. Here we go. And of course, if you ever mess up with that jump rope, no worries at all. Put a smile on that face and get back to it. Here we go. And then make sure that there's a difference between your steps and your high knees. So watch me. I do my 10 basic bounce. I move into the step. Knees are slightly coming off the ground. It's almost like I'm running. And then boom, you bring that noise with those 10 high knees. And then you kind of collect yourself with that basic bounce. You're looking really strong. Way to get that good warm up going. Your heart rate should be elevating a little bit. You should be feeling warm, getting ready. We're gonna kick, we're gonna punch, we're gonna do core work, we're gonna sweat, we're gonna smile. It's gonna be amazing. You're almost done. We got less than a minute with this jump rope drill. So keep on moving. You look so good at home. Here we go. Make sure to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Control that heart. Here we go. You got 30 more seconds, nine round now. Let's bring it. Now you gotta pick up your pace. I wanna see that pace pick up from the team right here, and I want the pace to pick up with you at home. So let's get it. Come on, 15 seconds left, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm with you guys, come on. We're gonna work together. Win this round, let's go. Nice. Don't stop to the bell. Just like a fighter, you don't stop till that bell goes. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna move into ski jumps. The first active break of the day. Just jump it side to side. Nice and light, taking it easy. Very good work, great job team. These guys are looking warm, you're looking warm. When round two begins, we're gonna start with our hands at home, we're gonna squat and you're gonna shin kick right towards me. We'll talk more about that shin kick as we go. And then we got five push-ups, and Katie's gonna do them on the knees. If you do your push-ups on the knees, no problem. Next round, let's go to work. So here we go, we're doing that squat and shin kick. So watch Katie Ken's right here. When we talk about a shin kick, it's a snap kick. She's pointing her knee at the target, pointing her toe as well, and snapping that foot. Great job. And remember, you're working this drill to 10. So keep going, stay strong. Here we go, get it. Nice work, nice work. Once you hit 10, we're gonna hit the deck with you nine round now. So here we go. It's push-up time. Now let's check out KOKT right here. 
She's knocking those push-ups on her knees, which is perfectly fine. She's staying really safe and getting great range of motion. She knocks out five and then we're back. Here we go. Now have purpose while you're doing those kicks, okay? If you can only kick right here, kick right there and that's where you're safe and you're working hard. As you get better with nine round and your nine round now workouts, we can start elevating that kick higher and higher. But think about a target. If I'm actually trying to kick someone, boom, I'm kicking about their knee level, boom. But as you get better and as you get stronger, boom, you start coming eye level, boom, just like that, all right? So have purpose as you do those kicks. There you go, kick cans. Way to stay strong with that push-up. Good work. Always make sure when you're working that push-up that your hands are right underneath your shoulders like this. And you also want to think of the push-up as a total body movement. So my core is tight, my glutes are tight, and that keeps myself really strong. And in that plank position, as I go down and up, and everything's firing up. Really, really important for you to think about while you work any workout, but especially right here with your nine round now workout. Let's keep going, we're over halfway done with round two, you're looking so good. Stay strong, there you go, good, good, good. Let's go to work, let's go to work, let's get some push-ups, let's go. Nice work, guys. Now, when you work that squat, we've talked a lot about the kick, but let's talk about the squat. Make sure those heels stay down, keep your head up. You're always gonna look at me or whoever the lead trainer is. Make sure you're staying strong, focusing on your target. Good work. And make sure to breathe, of course. Don't forget to breathe. We all like breathing, right? Come on, that's why we're here. Let's go, we got 30 more seconds. Now I want you to see if you can pick up your pace just a little bit, but focus on that form still. Bring up the intensity, let's win this round, but still continue to have great form. You're looking really good. If you're looking as good as this team right here, you're doing great at home. Stay okay, okay, T. Nice work, nice work. She still got a smile on her face while she's burning up. Let's go. Couple seconds left, we got five, four, three, two, come on, all the way, all the way, all the way. Okay, we got mountain climbers, let's drop. Let's hit the deck, mountain climbers. Now check out KOKT right here. Those shoulders are still staying over the hands, which is great. Really getting that great knee drive with that mountain climber, doing a killer job. Now, if you have boxing gloves, this is a great time to get some boxing gloves. They're like little weights while you're working out. We're gonna work a jab cross combination. So we got our straight punches that we're gonna start with. And then we also got some jumping jacks. So we're gonna do jab cross combo to 10, 10 jumping jacks. Next round, let's get in a fighter stance. So hands up, stagger those feet, jab cross. Jab cross, jab cross. Nice work, let's go. Good work, and five. Good, nice fighter stance. Make sure that hip's coming through just like Kiki Ken. Good, eight, let's go nine, and then 10. Now let's put the feet together, hands together, keep that cardio going, jumping jack. This is old school right here, but just because it's old school doesn't mean it doesn't work. So let's go, let's get it. Full range of motion, hit it to 10. Then, if you want, you can switch your stance. Now we work from the other side. Jab cross, jab cross, jab cross. There you go. 10 and 10, you got it, you work your pace, you can stay with the team or work it at your pace. Remember, if you watch any of the how-to videos, you heard me talk about bouncing and breathing. So as you're working these kickboxing combinations, take the time if you need to, hands up, elbows in, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. It's that nice side-to-side -side bounce, just like this. Just doing that weight shift, just like this. And then breathe and then attack, attack, attack and have killer form using your total body, winning every single workout, just like my team is behind me. So let's go. There you go. Come on, Jack. There you go. Good work, good work. Way to stay nice and light on the feet. When you're doing a jumping jack, just like KO right here, it's just like using a jump rope. She's staying on the balls of her feet. Her core is tight and she's breathing. Here we go. Remember, when I talked about those jabs and cross in those how-to videos, when you do that cross, the hip comes through, that heel comes off the ground, and I'm digging into the mat with the ball of my foot. So it's a killer cross, killer cross, killer cross. So you can relax, you set, jab cross. You can bounce, and then hit it with the one, two. Bounce, and then come in nice and strong, just like that. You got less than a minute, nine round now. 
keep that intensity. 10 and 10. You looking good. Looking good. Looking like these guys. Let's go. How are the shoulders feeling? They burn yet? They feeling good? You're looking strong. Nine round now. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Nice work. Keep that full range of motion. I know you're almost done with this round, so stay strong. We're going to pick up the intensity here in a couple seconds. Right now, punch it out. Jab, cross. This is where we go. This is where we have fun. This is the party part of the round. We punch it out. It's a punch party. Woo woo. Punch party. Woo woo. Let's go. Punch it out. Let's go quicker. Come on, come on, come on. I'll come in with you. Come on. Bring it. Punch it. Put a smile on that face. Let's go. You're working hard. You're with us. It's nine round nation. Let's go. Nice work, nice work, nice work. All right, let's hit the deck. Let's get a little core work in with some Russian twist. All right. So we got that Russian twist going. It's in a nice V position just like this, reaching for the, reaching for the ground. I love it. Now, when the next round starts, we're going to work a front kick. So a front kick is kind of like a shin kick, but it's more of a driving kick where we're going to chamber, we're going to flex our foot, extend kick with the ball of the foot, bring it back and down. We're going to kick with the front leg, with the back leg. We're going to do that five times each way and then some hooks. Next round, here we go. So get in a killer fighter stance, hands up, elbows in again. We're going to front kick from the back leg. So here we go. We're in a chamber, extend, recoil and plant. You're going to work that five times. Here we go. Work that front kick five times. There you go, KO. Way to keep those hands up, driving with your hip. There you go. Now switch the stance after five, nine round, and then let's work it from the other side. There you go, kicking cans, nice and strong. Get a little bounce right there. Let's get a little bounce right there and then bring it. Nice work, nice work. Now we go five and five. Let's get back to the original fighter stance. Now we're going to come across the body, parallel to the ground, hook, hook, hook. Let's go, bring it. There you go, nice. Hook, 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 hook. Hook, you got 10 more. We're going to 20 total, and then you're back. So here we go. This is what you're going to work at your pace. You're going to go five front kicks on each side, and then switch the stance. So we always go from the back side. So we go five front kicks from here. We switch the stance, five front kicks from here. Then it's the 20 hooks. Again, with the hook, you're going to go parallel to the ground. The palm faces you, and you're going to lift that heel off the ground just like that. Get the torque through your core. Boom, boom, boom. Five, five, and 20, you got it. Let's go. There you go, there you go, there you go, Kid Kent. She's doing the one connecting, one protecting at all times. That's a philosophy of nine round, all right, guys? You always want to keep one hand up while the other hand's hitting. There you go, stay strong. All right, KOKD, bringing it with that front kick, hitting all four parts of the kick. And you can see how she's fixating her foot. She's kicking with the ball. So if she was actually kicking someone, boom, right there in the core, I bet, right, KO? Yeah, right there. Good job. So she's visualizing where she's kicking, and I love that. So here we go. Back to it. Come on. There you go. Stay strong. Keep those hands up. Use your core. Bring it. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. You're looking good. Come on. This is round four of nine, and that's why we call it nine round now. Let's go. Come on. Keep it up. There you go, there you go. Total body work. Using your core to balance while you're kicking. Great job, team. There you go. Good. Keep fighting. There you go. Stay strong. Come on, keep that balance. Stay strong. Bounce and breathe when you need it. We're almost at that 30 second bell, guys. And that's where we're going to get crazy with the little party time right now. Let's go. Keep going, hooks. But I want you to pick it up. Boom, boom, boom. All I want you to think about is hooks for the next 20 seconds. Let's go to work. Come on, burn it up. Nice job. Come on, look at good. There you go, there you go. You got it. Keep going to that bell. Keep going to that bell. You can do this. Breathe. All right, and squat kick. So we're going to do a front kick this time. Since we were working it, we're going to keep that front kick going. Squat and front kick. Nice job. Remember to breathe. Use this time to actively break. Round five's coming, team. We're going to work 20 uppercuts. So we get in that fighter stance. We're coming from underneath, coming up and through, coming to about eye level with those fists. Then we're going to work a round kick. So it's kind of like a shin kick, but it goes around. So you're going to point the knee at your target, snap, 
and set it down. We're gonna do that five times. Okay, here we go, next round. Let's start with that uppercut. So get in your killer fighter stance. Let's check out Kiki Ken's right here. Check out how she's using her total body right here. I love that. The knees are staying bent. She's using her hips and core to come through. And then the breath. As she comes up for every punch, she breathes out. Breathes out. And then we're going to get to that round kick. Let's check out KOKD right here. She's turning that hip over. She's snapping that foot, kicking with the shin and top of her foot. All you got to really think about is kick with your shoelaces and point that toe. Turn that hip over and you got a killer round kick. So let's go to work. Keep those uppercuts going strong. There you go, there you go. One connect and one protected KO, there you go. Now, KOKT, she's working a back leg round kick now. Check this out. She's staying in the same fighter stance. She does a round kick from the back leg. She sets it down and brings it back. That's a great way to get started with a back leg round kick. If you have a hard time with that, what you can do is just switch your stance. It's gonna be easier to work that round kick from the front side if you have to, but challenge yourself. See if you can knock out that back leg round kick. Here we go. There you go, team. Looking strong with those uppercuts. Still kicking cans. Here we go, here we go. Now, kicking cans, give me a back leg round kick real quick. Now, kicking cans, she's doing it a little bit more advanced version with that back leg round kick. For those that maybe have done kickboxing before, you can knock out that round kick like this. See how she controls it, brings it all the way back to where she started. I love that. That's a great way for you to knock out a round kick as well. Or something to aspire to. You got to give yourself goals so you can say, hey, Captain, I'm going to work on my round kick to get it just like kicking Ken's and have an awesome nickname just like kicking Ken's. So here we go. Keep it up because we got awesome fighter names at nine round. The Captain, the KO, the kicking Ken's. What are you at home? Let me know. I want to hear all about it. Let's go. Keep it up. There you go. Come on. Stay strong, nine round. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Focus. Stay strong, keep that form strong. Here we go, you got this. Keep those hands up when you work that round kick. Use your core to balance. See how far you can get that hip over. The goal is to get parallel to the ground when you're working that round kick. Here we go. Twenty and five, twenty and five, twenty and five, like you mean it. Woo! We are burning up in here today. Okay, we got 30 more seconds time around now. Let's go uppercuts as fast as you can. Let's bring it. Keep those knees bent, keep that core tight. Work that uppercut faster. Come on, you can do it. This is the burnout. This is the party time. Let's go. 15 more seconds, let's go. Come on, you got it, drive, drive. Make sure to breathe, here we go. Woo, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't go, don't stop to that bell, here we go. Here we go. You can do it. Nicely done. Ollie shuffle. When I say Ollie shuffle, you're going to punch towards the ceiling and switch your feet front to back, just like this. Just like the team's knocking out right now. All right, guys. My favorite kick's coming up. It's called the side kick because it's the strongest kick. So you're going to get in your fighter stance, chamber. You're going to extend, try to kick with your heel, bring it back and set down. We're going to do that five times. Then we'll work the punch combination. We're gonna kind of mix everything we've done. Next round, here we go. The combo is jab, cross, hook, and hook. So here we go, let's get started with a side kick. Here we go, side kick. We're gonna have five times nine round. We're gonna do it five times one way and then we'll switch it up. We're gonna five times the other way. KOKT is doing a great job right here with that side kick. Switching it up now. All right, let's check out Kiki Ken's. There you go. Just like Kiki Ken, she's pointing her hip at her target now. Extending, kicking with the heel and the blade of the foot. She's doing such a great job. Then we got the punch combination. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Give it to me five times. There you go. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Strong. Let's see it, KOKD. One more time. Give it to me. Woo, that's smooth. Let's show it to me one more time. Nice little bounce, little setup. One more time. One more time. Yeah, there you go. Great job. There you go. Looking at good at home. Looking good at home. Here we go. Five side kicks each side. Jab, cross, hook, hook, five times. You can do this. Here we go. Woo! Side kicks, my favorite, guys. Let's go. Stay strong. We're over halfway through this workout, but you still got to work on that form. Bring it. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Remember those jab. The palm face towards the ground. 
the cross, the palm face towards the ground. And then when you do your hooks, the palm faces you. And then one connect and one protected. You know the drill. Let's go. We're over halfway through this round. Round six. Looking really strong. Keep it up. There you go. Good, good, good. Fight to keep those hands up. K-O-K-T. Bring it. Nice. Give it, you can recoil it even better than that. Oh, yeah. Feeling it through the hip. Working those core muscles. Burning. Getting results each and every day. You do a nine round now workout. I love it, guys. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. You're looking good. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Stay strong. Remember, have purpose. Where am I kicking? Am I going towards the knee? Am I going towards the core? Or am I coming towards the head? And all of them are right. It's just what makes sense for you. Remember, take your time with these movements. Might be the first time you're ever doing this. Work it as best you can. 30 seconds left. It's go time. Punch it out, jab, cross. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look at Katie, still getting that killer range of motion. Going all the way out with those punches, but still getting great core work and working from the feet up. I love it, KO Katie. You gotta bring it just like KO over there. Let's go, nine round now, let's get it. Less than 10 seconds. Come on now, come on, we gotta burn it, we gotta earn it, let's go. Woo! All right, it's push-up time. Back to some more push-ups. Remember, if you want to, you can go to the knees, like KO right here. Otherwise, with Kick and Ken, she's gonna keep rocking it out from the toes. I love it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Round, si round seven, I'm having so much fun. What we're gonna do, we're gonna work a combination. It's gonna be killer. Three jabs in a row. We're gonna cross, we're gonna elbow, and we're gonna knee strike. But here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna layer it. So just stay along with me, and you'll rock it out. Let's go, next round. So get in that fighter stance, hands up. Now remember, you guys are gonna stay with me on this one. So here we go, we're just working the front hand. Jab, 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 and then come on back. Let's work, jab, jab, jab. Come on back, let's go. Jab, jab, jab. Let's keep working that front hand. Jab, jab, jab. Now check it out. Every step, or every punch, she does a step forward. So check it out. Jab, jab, jab. One connected, one protected still. Jab, jab, jab. Is that hand burning yet? Is that arm burning yet? Here we go, keep it going. Jab, jab, jab. One more time, everybody. Now we're gonna add the cross, so here we go. We're gonna go one, two, three, knockout cross, and then come on back, bounce, and when you're ready, hit it. Good. Jab, 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 and then knockout cross. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Knockout cross, good, good, good. What we're doing here, we're setting up that cross, so she's going jab, she's going jab, she's going jab, and then bang with that cross, good. One more time, and cross, now let's bounce. Let's add more because you guys are doing so well. So we're gonna go one, two, three, we cross, then with the same hand, come through an elbow strike like you're hitting someone with your forearm. So let's give that a try, here we go. Cross and elbow, good, coming through strong. Even more core when you're working that elbow, because remember, we're doing this for fitness, getting some results, here we go. Cross and elbow, nice work, nice work. Come on, keep it going. Looking strong. We got one more part to add here, so let's go. We're gonna add that last part. We're gonna go jab, 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 cross, elbow, grab, and knee strike, and then come on back to the ready. Let's give it a try, you got it. Elbow and knee strike, good. Bounce and breathe, get ready, and hit it. Cross, elbow, and knee strike. Great job, KOKT, looking really good. Here we go. Jab, jab, cross, elbow, knee. Now you got about a minute left, so here's what you can do. You can start picking up your pace. We can also switch our stance. We can try it from the other side now. Jab, 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 cross, elbow, knee. See what you can do. Bring it. You've been working for seven killer rounds. After this, we only got two rounds to go. So let's bring the noise. Let's get a little crazy. Let's have a little bit more fun. Put a smile on that face. Keep working hard, let's go. There you go, looking strong, guys. Boom, boom. All right, we got 30 seconds left. I want you to keep working the combination for the last 30, but I want you to see if you can go even faster. You got that KO, KD? Let's see it, let's see it as fast as you can. Hey, whoa, okay, kick it, Ken, as fast as you can, let's see it. Boom, boom, wow, that's awesome. Come on, come on, come on, it's about 10 seconds left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep it up. 
You got it. Keep working to the bell. Keep working the combo. Nice job. Let's do some more jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Here we go. Wow, what a great job on that combo. You expect a lot of combos like that with your nine round now workouts team. Looking really strong. Now, round eight. It's a little bit more of a cardio move here. We're gonna bounce, stay light on the feet, and punch at the same time. So you just want your hands and feet working together. We're working on coordination. We're gonna go to 30. Then we're gonna pop down. Crab position. We're gonna lift our hips as high as we can and punch the ceiling. We're gonna knock that out to 10, all right? So let's get ready, bounce. Next round, and punch. Bounce and punch. We're working to 30. Staying light. Smiling, great job, KO. Bouncing and hitting, coordination work right here, but keeping our cardio going at the same time. You're doing a great job. Now we're gonna drop down. Kick cans, let's see it. Crab, punch. Here we go. We're punching to the ceiling. See how her hands are staying right underneath her shoulders. She's going straight up to the ceiling and her eyes are focused on her target. What this does too is controls the heart rate. We're at round eight right now. We need to bring down a little bit but not too much with that bouncing hit. Work at that coordination. Looking good, you're almost done. Keep moving, keep fighting. That's what we do, we're fighters, nine round nation. Let's go, let's go. All right, crab, bam, punch, let's go. Killer job, guys, come on. Looking good. Way to stay together, team. Way to stay with us at home. Way to keep going, way to keep fighting for each and every rep. I'm proud of you, but you're not done yet. Let's go to work, come on. There you go, way to stay light, way to stay light, way to stay light. See how her, her heels aren't touching the ground, which is so important. That just helps with that lightness. Keep you moving and grooving. Here we go. There we go, back at kicking cans. Way to keep those glutes up nice and high, keeping that core tight. I love that, I love that, it looks so good. We're burning it, we're earning it, come on. You can do this. We're almost there. Let's go. Remember, still keep good form with those punches. Still turning those hammers over, all right? I know we're bouncing. It's a little bit different than we were doing before, but you still want to keep good form. Practice makes perfect, right? Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Good. Reach for that ceiling. Keep that core tight. Great job, KO. Good work, good work. You're looking really good. Stay focused, stay strong. We got less than a minute left of round eight. You got this. Here we go. Come on, stay focused on me. You be pretending like you're punching me in the face right now. Cause I know those shoulders are burning. So you need a little extra motivation. So come on, bring it. Let's go. Come on, here we go. Come on, 30 seconds left. Everybody stand up or keep going. If you're bouncing a punch, just stay there. We're gonna keep going for the rest of the round. Let's go. Stay light, stay light. Come on, all the way out, all the way out. Burning those shoulders up a little faster, a little faster. Come on, you go faster, Kenzie. Now you can go faster than KO. Now you guys go faster than them at home. Come on, 10 seconds. You got it. Almost there, you're looking good. Come on, all the way to that bell. Okay, my favorite, it's burpee time. Here we go, drop it down. Throw a push-up on it. Come on up, remember, you can go to the knees. You can go to the knees for that push-up if you need to. Here we go. Last round is the best round, nine round nation. We're working the core work. So we're gonna start in that V position. We're gonna do that Russian twist again. But we're gonna do a rep of 20. Then we're gonna lean back, our feet are up, and we're gonna reach for our toes. We call them pike crunches. If you have boxing gloves, of course, you can take those off. Let's get to work next round. Here we go. We got that Russian twist coming. Nice, nice. So there's a couple ways to do Russian twist. You see Mackenzie right here. She's reaching with that opposite foot across her body. Now the other way to do a KO, lock your hands for me please. And she, you can just go side to side like this. What happens here is it's a little bit less of a range of motion. So if you're more a beginner, that's what I want you to focus on. Either way is great, just keep it up. Now let's look at KO right here. This is the pie crunch. Her legs are pretty much as straight as she can do. And then she's reaching for the toes or her shoelaces. I love that. That core's feeling good, right? Give me a thumbs up. Good job, good job. Come on, guys. We got 20 and 20 on this one. It's the last round. It's the best round. Here we go, here we go. There you go, team. Come on, come on, come on. 
Work it to 20. Set to 20 here. You got it. Let's feel that burn. Feel that burn. Legs super straight. Reach for those toes. Reach for those toes. If you need to, you can also slow it down like this. Kind of pulse. Breathe for a second and then hit it. Hit it. Or if you want that burn to get crazy, you just go, go, go. Both of them are right. Just what makes sense for you with your workout. Here we go. Almost done. Almost home, guys. There you go. Woo! Feel that burn. Feel that burn. Minute and a half left. You're halfway through this last round. There you go. There you go. Stay, stay strong. See how Mackenzie, she's keeping those eyes up. Good work, good work, good work. You want to make sure you're not rounding your back too much while you're doing these V-sits, all right? Stay tall. Use your core. Use your core, not your low back as much as possible. There you go, team. Woo! Come on, bring it. Bring it. Come on, KO. There you go. There you go. All eyes on you, KO. Come on, you got to go. All right, all eyes are on you at home. Nine round now. Come on, you got to bring it. Less than one minute to go. I'm going to finish strong with you guys. We can do it together. Here we go. Come on. Come on, burn it up. Right away. Right away. Get on it. Come on. This is how we get lean and mean. Looking like fighters. Because we are fighters. Let's go. We got to get that core work done. Woo! All right, guys. 30 seconds left. This is it. 30 more seconds of your workout. You can do this. Bring it. 25 more seconds. I know you got it. Bring every rep you can to the table right now. You can do it. Win this. You got it. Come on, come on, KO. Come on, KO. I know you're not tired yet. I know you're not tired yet, right? Come on, come on, come on. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Every rep you can. Less than 10 seconds. Drive. Win it. Finish. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way to the bell. And that is time. Woo! Kick it, Kens. K-O-K-T. You at home. Everybody, you guys are amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you again shortly for the other killer nine round now workout.